Okay guys, in today's In The Hoop project, we are going to stitch out some basketball shoe charms. I purchased these from Etsy seller Nuftoog, N-U-F-D-O-O-G. It is going to take 5,802 stitches to complete, and I am currently using my Baby Love Flourish 2 one needle machine on a 4x4 hoop. As you can see, some placement stitch are being stitched out. I'm going to lay my first layer of foam fabric with a top layer of embroidery vinyl. The embroidery vinyl I purchased from Kid Customs Designs. And the foam I had it um, from, a, uh, from a purchase that I made a while ago at a craft store. So as you can see, it's doing the tack down stitch. And I went ahead and left the video at the speed that it is stitching out so I will not be fast forwarding uh, any of the frames so uh, whenever I am looking for a embroidery file to stitch out I personally like to see how it stitches out in the time that it actually stitches out so I'm gonna go ahead and leave all my videos that way so if you want, uh, you can fast forward the video, but uh, I'm just going to leave it as is um, and then just walk you through the steps. So now what I did was I put another layer of the embroidery vinyl for the basketball. So this is the easy part. Uh, the step that I found to be a little difficult was cutting the embroidery vinyl out. Uh, I think in the future I'm going to not have a, a large piece go across both of the uh, shoe charms. I think I'm gonna do individual and maybe even cut the circles out um, so that I can don't even have to cut them out. But um, that was the most difficult part. So right here is it's stitching the design of the basketball that you would normally see in a uh, basketball. <laughs> so that's what it's doing here. I used three different colors. Let me see. Uh, I used black, orange, blue. I used four different colors in this stitch out. Um, the first few steps I just left it as black and then um, and that just made it easier especially if you're using a one needle machine so the next step is a short clip so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know after this stitches out what you want to do is remove the hoop off the machine flip it over and put another layer of whatever you're backing uh, you decide to use I went ahead and used um, the same color, the same embroidery vinyl for the back, and I used painter's tape just so that it would stay in place. And then you go ahead and you put it back, uh, put your hoop back onto the machine. And what it's going to do is it's going to stitch out your holes or your little um, where you're going to have to cut out at the end of uh, your project so that you can lace your your little charms onto your shoelaces and so what it's doing is it's actually even though it's making the circles for for your holes that you're going to cut out it's actually connecting the back piece to your top piece so it's going to make it really secure and then one thing I liked about this stitch out is that um, it stitches out twice around the entire piece so you're going to know that it's really secure and put together and which was really nice because when I started cutting out the outer layer um, I pulled on it pretty hard and it, it stayed in place so I really liked that uh, the designer did that so right here you see that I cut out the pieces off the back and what you want to do is you want to leave your foam intact with the tear away stabilizer so the only thing that you're cutting out is your embroidery vinyl so just be careful when you're doing that and that's why I was saying that in the future when I do these 
I think I'm going to cut the vinyl into smaller pieces so I don't have to cut down the middle and around it so much because that was that was the hardest part um, of doing this project. So right now what it's doing is the satin stitch around the, I want to keep calling them buttonholes, but they're lace holes where you're going to beat your laces, your shoelaces in. So that is what we are doing here. I went ahead and let, let um, the machine do its work and I really find watching these types of stitch outs so relaxing so I hope you don't mind that I left the sound of the machine embroidering. It's just very relaxing to me. So right here what it's doing it's um, basically doing I don't know the technical term for it, but it's doing like a, I guess a double tack down stitch. Uh, and the one thing I liked also about this project is using the foam, because what it's gonna do is gonna make your your charm more stable uh, when you um, use it, especially if you're gonna be taking them on and off and putting them on different shoes. Um, and plus, the nice part about it is, is when you're taking it off the hoop, it just, it peels right off. So there's no more cutting after this is stitched out other than for you to make the openings for your, in your holes. So right now it's doing the satin stitch all the way around. And while it's doing this, it's actually helping to create a, um, a um, perforated seam all the way around uh, your project on the phone, if that makes any sense. So right now what it's doing is, um, I went ahead and changed the color to a yellow and it's doing a nice little trim around uh, your satin stitch. So this is my third color that I'm using on this uh, project. So like I said before, I've only used, I'm only switching out uh, four colors. So I started with the black and then I have the little um, teal blue and then the yellow and then the orange will be the last step. So what it does is does this little nice border around the tag and then around the shoelace holes as well. So now I'm on my last color, which is the orange. And what it does is it does another stitch around the ball area, and then it'll do a satin stitch around both of the basketballs in your design. And as I said earlier, if you don't want to sit here and watch the entire stitch out, you can go ahead and fast forward through this part. Um, but I like watching videos that don't fast forward um, through the projects because it really hurts my eyes. So um, that's just how I'm going to do my videos. So I hope you like it and enjoy it as much as I do. I just love watching embroidery. I think it's... Um, very relaxing and it's very um, neat to see how this all stitches out and how it becomes a project. 
or a complete project. And if there's any designs that you would like for me to stitch out, uh, you can leave them down below in the comments section. Um, I do have quite a few in the Hue projects I already have planned out, but I definitely would like to try um, new designs that I don't have if I, if I run out. Uh, the majority of the projects that I plan on doing on my channel will be in the hoop projects. So if you haven't already done so, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video if you want to see more videos like this. Um, but I really enjoy in the hoop, in the hoop projects because they're really easy, but the outcome is so um, amazing what you can do in the hoop. And like I said, I have a one needle machine, so I want to show that there are things that you can do on a one needle, one needle machine. Um, I know people really like the multi needle machines, but um, I'm really happy with the Baby Lock Flourish too. And I'll also leave uh, where I purchased my machines from. I've actually purchased two machines from Moore Sewing. They also have a YouTube channel if you're interested. Um, but they have amazing customer service and uh, they pretty much have a loyal customer from me. So, uh, and shipping is fast. I ordered a sewing machine during Christmas and I got it like within the next on a Friday and then I got it like on a Monday. But here's the finished product and as you can see they really just pop out of the the craft foam and that's gonna make your charm very stable. And I have this hole punch and I don't know the actual name for it but um, you can use that on paper uh, crafts. So I went ahead and punched out one of the tags, the holes in one of the tags and I also used a lighter to burn off um, around the tag because I had a lot of fraying from the vinyl. And then I used my little scissors there to cut off some of the string. <laughs> 